What's going on guys, it's Matt here, welcome back to the 10th episode of my Run to Max Town Online series here on my Dredgy9 account, my main account, and today we've got 5 million gold sitting there, so we're either going to upgrade our expo or our clan castle. So before I started this episode, I went to do a couple of quick farming, well, quick lazy farms to get me up to about 5 million so that I could get the 5 million in the live video. But I got too much loot. I'm just too good at the game. So, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, that raid that you see up the top there against Pragun, 274,365 days in a year. I mean, gold. Um, yeah. It was a bit more than I was expecting, but I couldn't turn it down. <laughs> so if you can hear that, someone's just done a burnout on the highway. <laughs> So here I am with a couple of barbarians testing the clan castle. Like it wasn't 100% if that was the range. That's right on like the range of 11 tiles. Oh, there they go again. <laughs> so there is a double giant bomb here that takes out quite a few of my infantry. But, I mean, with Barch you just have so many troops that it doesn't matter. So I use my barbarians and archers to clear a path to my king and queen. Those lightning spells on the mortars were probably overkill, and the dragon on the right is definitely overkill. Um, my king and my queen have pretty much wrapped up the raid, they've got all the loot that I need. So I should surrender now to save my king's health, but I let it go on for a bit. I was testing to see if I'd want a three star, I'd be able to get one, but I don't need one, because I'm trying to drop trophies, not gain them. I want to be around um, gold 3, silver 1. So to upgrade my expo to level 2, it's an extra 10 damage, 400 hit points. Um, for the clan castle, it's only an extra 5 slots, although it does hold more war loot. Um, an extra 5 slots in the long run would be helpful, but honestly the expos, in my opinion, are the best defences in the game at Town Hall 9. Um, when I was trophy pushing, if I had a Town Hall 9 base with level 1 expos, I'd be able to 3 star it. If it had level 2, I would struggle for a 1 star. It's They're that crucial. So, looking at my Dark Elixir storage, I've also got enough to upgrade that. I don't really need a... I don't really have a point apart from like giving it more hit points and like turning it more defensive, save a little bit more Dark Elixir. Because I've never, I'm thinking the highest I've ever had was 50,000. Yeah, about 50,000 before I did my hogs actually, up to level 4. So I'm searching for a raid, I'll quickly take a cut and be back when I find this next raid. Oh, there we go. Um, there was actually only like three or four more searches, but this is the raid that I decided to take. It's showing 700,000 loot, and if I had a trophy pushing like a serious three-star competition, like Hogs or Go Wipe, Go Wee Wee even, I probably would have got it all. But because I got Barge, it's a lot harder. And with the high-level walls, it's even worse with no wall breakers. So I try attack from the bottom, completely ignoring the town hall on the left, because again, I want to drop trophies. Um, I really just want to get in there to that gold, because, I mean, I need gold to search for my next raid. So, just barging 20 at a time, heroes in. Um, I saved, I waited a little bit for those lightning spells to see if the clan castle would come out, but I needed to take it out. And it was just too early. The clan castle troops come in and wreck my heroes. I'm down here watching my um, clan castle go down and I miss my king's iron fist. I realise that and use my um, Arch Queen's Royal Cloak early. A complete fail of a raid. She only just takes out the clan troops. And my two wizards get shot down by the expos. Um, <laughs> I surrender the raid here, there's a couple of archers shooting at the town hall, but I don't want the trophies. So I'll give that guy positive trophies, even though it looks like he was farming as well, but I'll give him a win. 
Um, anyway, we'll train up some more troops. Dragon in the first one, 50 barbarians in the second, with 20 archers along with it. Same in the third, and then we'll go 60 archers in the third, in the fourth. Sorry, with three giants to stop it at 60. Um, cancel them out, and now request some troops up, and here we go, we're going to upgrade our expo, second one to level 2, 10 days, or 8.5 days, 8.5, 8.8 8 days, 5 hours, we're going to be without expos, which is really going to suck for my defence, and because our defence is going to be down, I don't want to be defending more 3.5 million elixir, so I go ahead and I spend it on my dark elixir storage. Um, any time now. Oh yeah, I was saying here, I don't want to bother saving up because there's still six days on my hogs and the dark elixir drill on the left hand side is the only other upgrade I need. So I use it on my dark elixir storage for six days for that and all my builders are in progress. So thanks to Rockin for the archers. Always helpful on defense. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm showing how my base is awesome. Um, so you can literally trade around any of the storages. So this is, for an example, a setup for if you've got pretty much no Dark Elixir and you're saving for gold. So you put the gold in the middle. If you want to do Elixir, you swap them around, not like that. Um, put the gold over there, Elixir in the middle. Um, at the moment, I've got do the same on the top, but gold if you want to save for that. Um, at the moment I'm just, I've got equal, I've got pretty much no elixir or gold, so I'm going to spread them out with my dark elixir in the middle because that's what I'm protecting the most at the moment. I've got 25,000 of that, which is a significant amount. Um, so anyway, That'll probably wrap it up. Thanks for watching this episode, the 10th episode of my Road to Max 10 on 9 series. If you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating, and I'll see you in the next video.